climb up. So guys, this is what we have for breakfast today. We have some pasta, eggs, corn, pumpkin, and I've got mixed vegetable salad. I got um, latte, I got some fruits, some sandwiches, and eggs. Good morning world, and we are here in Panjihua city. We are on our day two of our trip to Yunnan Adventure Series. So we are leaving the city now, but just take a look at the weather today. It's very, it's a very rainy day. So yesterday we left Chengdu at 9 a.m. and we arrived here around, I think, 5 o'clock or something or six yeah so it took us about more than 10 hours to get here yeah so this is Panjihua city it's famous for mangoes guys uh, we bought some mangoes local locally uh, produced here and they tasted quite sweet so right now we are leaving the city to uh, head, to head to da Dali, right? Is it Dali or Lijiang? Oh, to head to Lijiang city. It will take us about three and a half to four hours to get there. As you would have noticed guys um, as we get near to the border of Yunnan um, the weather got better and we arrived at the PSB checkpoint where they have to check your um, ID such as your national ID or your passport if you're a foreigner so guys we have just entered the uh, Yunnan border so this is Yunnan I don't see much difference So, um, if you are going to enter Yunnan province, uh, they have to check your uh, identifications, like your national ID and your passport. So just after 30 minutes of driving, we encountered this long queue of cars ahead of us. We thought there was a serious accident, but we waited and waited until cars coming in and the queue gets longer and longer. There's only one tunnel which is being used by cars both ways. So 
we had to wait for like more than an hour to get or pass through the tunnel. So guys, we are now entering the toll gate of Lijiang. The old town of Lijiang is located on the Lijiang Plain at an elevation of 2,400 meters in southwest Yunnan, China, where a series of strategic passes give access through the surrounding mountains. The Yulong Snow Mount to the northwest is the source of the rivers and springs which water the plain and supply the Heilong Pool or Black Dragon Pond, from where waterways feed into a network of canals and channels to supply the town. The old town of Lijiang comprises three components parts, Dayan Old Town including the Black Dragon Pond, Bai Sha and Shu He housing clusters. Dayan Old Town was established in the Ming Dynasty as a commercial center and includes the Lijiang Junmin Prefectural Government Office. So 
So guys, we just found the parking space to park the car. It's actually very difficult to find parking space here. So we're heading to the hotel room now to our um, accommodation for two days. So guys, we finally arrived here at the main entrance to the old town. Um, I can say that the place looks nice, very green and clean. And at the entrance, you cannot find a lot of tourists yet, but um, wait and see when we get to the center of, uh, or the frontage of the main entrance, um, the crowd gets more and more. So this is the famous uh, water meal, which is like a symbol of the old town. And this is like a plaza as well. And it is situated at the main entrance uh, in front of the old town. As you can see, the crowd is building up here because uh, this is the way to the old town. So we just follow the crowd and we try to locate our homestay for tonight. As you can see guys, um, along this alley, uh, you can see that the structures are all wooden um, houses or buildings. And these are uh, well preserved by the local government. And as you know, Lijiang is one of the top tourist attractions here in China. Uh, as I step down the alley, guys, I can really feel like you are walking in, you know, you, you are like walking back in time. And I like the feeling around here because it's, you know, even though it's crowded, but I feel like I'm pretty amazed by, you know, the Chinese architecture or ancient architecture. And you can see a lot of shops along the way. So guys, we're heading to our homestay for tonight. Actually for two days. The old town of Lijiang was an important goods distribution center for the trade between Sichuan, Yunnan, and Tibet, and is where the Silk Road in the south joins the ancient Chama, or the Tea and Horse Roads. The old town of Lijiang became an important center for the economic and cultural communication between various ethnic groups such as the Nazi, Han, Tibetan, and Bai. The old town of Lijiang, which is perfectly adapted to the uneven topography of this key commercial and strategic site, has retained a historic township of high quality and authenticity. Its architecture is northworthy for the blending of elements from several cultures that have come together over many centuries. Lijiang also possesses an ancient water supply system of great complexity and ingenuity that still functions effectively today. The cultural and technological exchanges over the past 800 years resulted in the particular local architecture, art, urban planning and landscape, social life, costumes, arts and crafts, and other cultural features which incorporate the quintessence of Han, Bai, Tibetan, and other ethnic groups, and at the same time show distinctive Nasi features. In particular, the murals in the religious architecture and other buildings reflect the harmonious coexistence of Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism. 
So guys, we finally found our accommodation for tonight, and this is run by a family, and we are now checking in. So this is our accommodation here in Lijiang. So this is the master's bed. We have a sofa there, an AC and um, hangers, we have TV, and we have a mezzanine there on the, like a second floor. Let's check it out. So you, you can climb up. So this is the second bed on the second floor. And this is what the view outside out of the window the view of old town here in the town and this is the bathroom guys this is the sink we got the uh, toiletries you get a toilet bowl here, and the shower room is a little dark. Slippers. Guys, this is the name of our homestay, and we are heading out to have some late lunch because it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon because we arrived late uh, that day. So we're trying to find a local delicacy or local food and Yunnan is famous for rice noodles, so we will check it out. And this is the center of the old town. It's like a plaza where you can find a lot of shops and restaurants. Usually you can find a lot of people gather around here. So as we walk around the old town from one alley to another, we found a lot of shops, a lot of cafes, and local restaurants to choose from. But if you're looking for a Western restaurant or fast food chain such as McDonald's, KFC, um, Starbucks, you cannot find it here, at least in the center of the old town. You can find it outside or at the entrance. After looking around, we found a nice spot to have some rice noodles. Which is very famous here in Yunnan province. Bon appetit. Mm. I like to add some vinegar. Yes. I like parsley.
So after our satisfying lunch, we decided to stroll around and to discover more of this beautiful old town. The old town of Lijiang, which is perfectly adapted to the uneven topography of this key commercial and strategic site, has retained a historic township of high quality and authenticity. Its architecture is northworthy for the blending of elements from several cultures that have come together over many centuries. Lijiang also possesses an ancient water supply system of great complexity and ingenuity that still functions effectively today. Numerous two-story tile-roofed timber-framed houses combining elements of the Han and Zhang architecture and decoration in the arched gateways, screen walls, courtyards, and carved roof beams are representative of the Nasi culture and are disposed in rows of following the contours of the mountainside. Wooden elements are elaborately carved with domestic and cultural elements, pottery, musical instruments, flowers and birds. The vivid urban space, the vigorous water system, the harmonious building complexes, the comfortable residences of appropriate size, the pleasant environment, and the folk art of unique style combined to form an outstanding example of human habitat. So we noticed guys that as the sun sets down, we saw a lot of people, you know, get into the alleys and get out of their hotel rooms to walk around the alleys and it's pretty much crowded everywhere you go. <laughs> so as we walk around the old town, we found out that some of the alleys were very, very crowded and very noisy and so busy. But some alleys, um, if you walk furthermore, you can find some quieter, less crowded places or alleys just like this one. So guys, at this hour, a lot of people go to different local restaurants and cafes to have their dinner. So uh, we were also looking around to find a nice spot to have our dinner for tonight.
And then we found this beautiful, nice spot on top of a hill where you can have a panoramic view of the old town. Just take a look at this, guys. It's so beautiful and the view is just fantastic. Just because this spot is undoubtedly so beautiful, so fantastic and amazing, we decided to have our dinner in this restaurant, which is just on top of a hill. And we ordered some grilled um, fish, which is kind of spicy, but it tasted very good. So guys, this is the view during the blue hour. Just take a look at that. It's just amazing and breathtaking to look at. With that said, we've come to an end, guys. Thank you all for watching this vlog. Hope to see you on our next one. 再见, bye bye.